about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. All right, here he is for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Big body kick land. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Hooker gets in a clinch here early. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. Hooker's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. All right, single collar tie now. Trying to find a home for that right hand. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. That's a big strike right there. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh! Oh, big left! Hooker gets hit with a kick. And they separate. Ooh, head kick lands. Hurt. Great kicks there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Choi shot is blocked. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Single collar tie now. Lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Hooker. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there. Unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent. His ability to see the shots coming, defend them, and make the fight happen where he wants it to. Nice punch there. 
Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice straight punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. So he stuffs another takedown there. He talked to us about how hard this training camp was in terms of the defensive wrestling, but he certainly put in the right work. He did a great job of recognizing the threat, understanding that he could not allow his opponent to get to his hips. He never allows his opponent to get to his hips. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. from that previous round, DC. A lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. How about that shin? Lands the inside leg kick. Straight right hand now, just misses. Pretty good right hand. The Korean Superboy gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. Ball oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target there. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. This is exactly what he needed to get a takedown and secure the position. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Hooker's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your point. Big head kick land. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Just misses there with the left. He blocks the punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Three minutes remain in the round. All right, feet on the hips here. Good work from the top here by Chor. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Hooker's got the full mount. Oh, nice.
Nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Wow. Big punch land. Boom. Booker's punch to the body is blocked, so no damage done there. This will change the fight. Another takedown land. Our bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Hookers has got full mount now. The Korean Superboy gets back up again. Nicely done. Nice loop and punch. Oh, man. Both guys landed big shots. Oh, straight right. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Now connects with a right. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus miss in his opponent. Another takedown land. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. And that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed, this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Joy gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, big head kick. He continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Wow, actually got the case down. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. It's now, he's in a lot of danger. He's gotta grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. All right, gotta be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John, that's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions, and now he's jumping on a triangle. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Straight right, he misses. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, high level takedown defense there. He continues to stuff every takedown attempt throughout this round. Fight. 
Just missing on the uppercut there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Joy gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Oh, a huge block there. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. That one appeared to stun him. News serves him up. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at three minutes, 34 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration.